Right beside me, one of the hottest artists coming out of South London right now, Lil Ross. What's good, bro? No, you telling I'm gone, me? I'm gone. They are, they are. You just dropped the most recent track till the end. Currently sitting on 100k views. What's what's your thoughts? What's your feelings? No, I'm proud, man. I'm proud. My first time on the channel as well. I'm I proud. swear. Yeah. Because normally you drop on press play, right? Press play, yeah. Is there a reason why you switched from press play to GRM Daily? No particular reason. Just trying to get different audiences literally. okay yeah that, that makes sense that makes sense so before we talk about your music currently let's take it back to the first tra track you've actually dropped which is yola mm -hmm. right yola is your most popular track it's on about 800k views what was the reason why you started rapping in the first place i think i was in the studio with ams gangdor okay then she just like just jump on the track try it out and then from then it just so so when you jumped on the track, who was it that told you to jump on the track? Was it just let me let me just mess around, let me no, see you what know you're like saying? When the man is gassing you up and you're like yeah, yeah, jump yeah, on the yeah, track, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? They just try it out and then I'm here now. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. No, that's good, man. It's a good journey. So for you, was it always music or did you have any other hobbies you was interested in? When I was young, I used to play football, can't lie. Yeah. But you know, I had a little eat knee injury, you know? Yeah, yeah, them ones, injury. them excuses there. <laughs> so yeah, then just took up rapping. I feel like Amongst rappers, it's always like to make it out of the hood is either you rap or you kick ball. Is that a statement you agree with? No, there's plenty other different ways to get out of the hood. Yeah, Not yeah, just yeah. rap or kick ball, but obviously in the hood, people don't like to broaden the horizons. Do you know sense. what? Do you know? I feel like people just want the quick success. Quickly, they know yeah. if they drop a quick track, touch a mil views, and then Gone. they're getting money. Yeah. Or if it's football, they're signing their wages and they get their quick up. True. True. Is uni was uni ever an option with you, like taking a more educational route? If I wasn't rapping or doing that, obviously when I was in college I used to study plumbing, so I would've Okay. If, if I weren't doing that with my life right now, yeah, yeah. Obviously I would have took up plumbing in uni or done yeah. something, you get me? Plumbing is a good career though. No, nah, no, you it's could a good you trade. could make racks from plumbing. Trust me, it's a good trade to have. It's good to have a trade yeah, yeah. underneath your belt anyway. Is there a reason why you jumped off plumbing? No, no reason. I'm most of you are going to go back to it in a couple of years' time. Okay, you know okay. I mean? you Maybe know. even set up your own plumbing company Literally. or something like that. Literally. Okay, so we've slightly touched on um, before music. So how was it growing up in Brixton and your childhood? Like, how was it? My childhood, I can't lie, I didn't have a rough childhood. My childhood was calm. It's just the same child as everyone else has living on an estate, isn't it? Just yeah, yeah. everyone's friends and then mm. get me everyone might fall out eventually, you know okay. what I mean? Was this a big block of flats or was that small one, small no, big, community? Big, big block community. of flats, Mitesfield Estate, big block of flats. Oh, okay. And I also see that AM and Skengdo featured in two of your tracks, right? How yeah. did you first link up with them in the first place? Uh, were they from your area? That's the them and them. When I was, I grew, I grew up with them, played out with them, that's the G's them, innit? So, okay. So are, you're right. Are there artists that you look up to in terms of where you want your music career to be? Yeah, of course, of course. Because when they were doing their thing they hit different goals i'm trying to hit them same goals even more if in in fact yeah 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 but let's play lil ross's most recent track this one is till the end we'll be back in about three minutes live on represent radio and lil ross you dropped yola in february 2020 and it seems as though your supporters feel as though that's your best track to date is that something you agree with my personal best track is till the end till the end till oh your end. most recent one it's a bit different it's more it's not just on the drill take, it's a bit, it's a bit, you know, a bit flavoured. A bit flavoured, yeah, drill, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like back in the day, like 015 to 017, mm. people rated the more rough and raw, raw drill. But yeah. nowadays, people like a little bit of flavour, obviously yeah. seeing the likes of AJ and J1 Blue and stuff like that. I feel like that's what the people want nowadays. True. And when you are in the studio, what's the process of you making tracks? Do you write lyrics or do you just go into the studio with no lyrics? So I would have a beat and then I'll write to the beat whilst I'm at home and then go to the studio, but I won't just make one track in the studio. I'll just ask the producer to whip up a beat or to send me a beat and I'll write there as well. Okay, so you write at the studio? Yeah. Does it take you a lot of takes or are you quick in and out with it? Nah, I'm relatively quick. You're so relatively quick? Relatively quick. Okay. And it seems as though every, sing every single time you drop a track, it managed to get 100k views or more. At what point in your career did you think, yeah, this is starting to take over? I think, I think when I dropped levels, levels, when yeah. I dropped levels, and I, just, I saw that do numbers like Yola. I thought, yeah, this is, 
this could be this could be a thing to yeah, do. Yeah, so. yeah. And obviously you had the mixtape madness next up and that must yeah. have gave you more motivation, yeah, right? Way more motivation. Oh, okay, cool. My favourite tune from you would probably be obvious, I can't lie. Obvious. I very yeah. obvious. The beat, Everyone the flow. That Plus that's the only I feel like that's the only one of your videos where you're not in the hood, you're kinda just Yeah, different. Out, different, D- isn't different it? Different scenery surrounding beat everything's different so and i also noticed that's the song that you decided to take off your mask in it yeah what yeah, was the yeah. process of thought behind taking off your mask it was like it was a lyric in the in the bar when i say everyone knows my face that made me want to take and then you took it off in yeah. it yeah, yeah, yeah do you feel as though maybe you and your manager spoke and said i think it's time for you to take off your mask is that a conversation you had prior yeah 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 100% we had that conversation yeah, yeah and you feel as though this is going to benefit your career and make you take off yeah cuz having a mask on all the time it just I feel like it silences you at yeah, yeah. some point and i feel like when you have your mask on it kind of puts you into that kind of yeah, box yeah you yeah. push in a box or category and you just want to be Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. now I hear that. Would you like to introduce to the people your track, Obvious? Just tell them a little bit about yourself. So, Obvious is a track, it's just like a storyline, basically, of my life. Okay. Storyline. Live on Represent Radio, this one is Obvious by Lil Ross. What's your thoughts on the current state of drill right now? Some people have mixed emotions. Some people think it's a bit too saturated. Some people think that it's the best it's ever been. What's your thoughts on it? Definitely the best it's ever been. Drill yeah. has never been like this, been recognised like this before. Yeah, but yeah. there is, it is saturated. There is a lot of drill rappers now, but I feel like it's doing good for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like since Dig That Air Force mm. and Unknown T, um, he had this track, I forgot his main track. You don't know what it is. I think mm. since then, yeah. that's when we kind of saw the more commercial side of drill. Mm. Other than yourself, who are your top three in drill right now? Top three... I would say, I don't even know. Uh, There's a Central C's, a Digger D's. No, but I, I'm more listening to like the, the not really the underground. Oh, drill. the underground ones. You get me? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Maybe like, maybe like CB. CB. Or like a, you know, TS. TS. Or a Slicks. You know they're underground rappers when it's just literally letters. That's when yeah, you know yeah, these yeah, are yeah, these yeah. are in the ground. <laughs> But um, who were you influenced by growing up? More did you listen to more UK or US music when you I were young? I listen. No, it's in my household. They just listen to everything, so I okay. just took a whatever my, like my dad or what listened to. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like maybe like old school American rap, where it could be like grime in the UK. Yeah, yeah, it makes it's sense. Me. What's so? What's next for Lil Ross? Do you see yourself dropping a project soon, or are you just gonna keep dropping singles, build up the fan base? I got something dropping real soon, like real, real, real soon, soon, yeah, real, real cool. soon. Say no more, yeah, say man. no more. Real soon. But my last question to you is, yeah, do you feel like Beef is holding the UK scene back? Like maybe there's an artist from another area that you'd love to make a track with, but obviously you can't because of reasons. No, Beef does hold it back. You can't really make songs with certain people but it just is what it is isn't it it is what it is it isn't is it? What it is yeah it gets like that bro we are tuned in to represent radio that was Lil Ross Lil Ross thank you so much for coming by that was a great interview no, man bless pleasure pleasure bless man